So on the one hand, you've got the sort of the top of the investment level of perspective on art, this incredibly expensive and, and rather magnificent museum going in. <clears throat> I was an artist in the Lower East Side of New York back in the day. And uh, the people I was hanging out with were, of course, on the Lower East Side, because that's where it was cheap to live. Yeah. And everything was on the just getting by level. And so there, I assume that's going on with many young, yes. ambitious artists in Hong Kong and elsewhere. And then that overlaps into, in a sense, art is always rebellion anyway. Yes. You're always rebelling against the standard art of before. You're rebelling against uh, the man who or that you know, uh, institution is seen as. And um, protesters I know in the United States are in awe of the protesters in Hong Kong right now who seem to have more creative techniques and more creative artistry in a way in, in their protests. Um, that's pretty interesting, bottom-up kind of creativity. What's your perspective on that? It's very interesting to watch the, um, the visual language that's being applied now hmm. in, in Hong Kong. Um, primarily, of course, it's a tool for communication. It has nothing to do with museum per se, but as a museum, we are very interested in that as a visual culture form. Mm -hmm. um, the protesters use uh, the, um, this emblem to describe themselves. They, they talk them about themselves as being like water. So they will flow, they're free-flowing, they're leaderless, they're uh, spontaneous. And so a lot of the material um, that's, been, that's taking place in terms of protest mm -hmm. is digital. Mm -hmm. And it's a digital form f as a communication tool. And, and all of it is unauthored at this, at this point because right. they do not want to have a single author. It's not in their interest to do so. Our teams are uh, very interested. We are out documenting. We have mm. archives, and so we can document. Mm. We are doing that and researching mm -hmm. um, how um, or when and if it enters the collection. It has to go through the usual museum mechanism and process of thinking and looking and um, seeking rights. Mm -hmm. Who owns these things? And perhaps they are not to be owned, and that's fine but then it exists in, in, in other kinds of ways. So it's, it's a very, very interesting phenomena mm -hmm. this time. Unlike, say, much, much earlier um, periods of protest art, which had very clear activist um, <laughs> expressions, you know, like you can, in, the, in the US era, the guerrilla girls and their whole portfolios of prints mm -hmm. and so on that are very clearly authored and there for distribution. This is a very different uh, mechanism that's that's taking place in Hong Kong, um, and the digital tool is phenomenal. Mm -hmm.